literally wrote that song while I was driving. Um, I, we were, I lost my dad in 2013, I may have mentioned that, and uh, my wife bought me an old Jeep, a 79 Cherokee, uh, out in Phoenix, Arizona. We flew out there and decided to drive it back home instead of ship it, and, which is kind of crazy to do because it's 36 years old. But I, I, warned, I warned her and uh, you know Becky Fluke went with us and we were going to film it and we didn't really have a plan for that. It wasn't really um, something that we knew what we were going to do with it, but we were just going to do it to do it, which I think is the best reason to do things, you know, because you feel led to do them. If you ever get a chance to drive through the desert, I think you should. I think everybody should. Uh, it was a sunrise or a, or a sunset, I don't remember which, and uh, the girls were asleep in the car, and, and I was just kind of thinking about life and how we all kind of just passed through it, and, and it kind of started at Lyric One, so I'm sitting there driving, holding my phone, and from the first word to the end, and that was that was the writing of the song. If it means something to me, it's gonna mean something to somebody else, and I think that's that's an important thing to have in, in music and in songs in general. I think we don't have enough of that. Sometimes we just wanna check boxes as songwriters, you know, and go, oh, well, people like songs about this and this and this. It's real easy to get in box checking mode, you know, when you're writing songs, but uh, that one certainly doesn't check any boxes. It's not. Uh, it, it would never be viewed as the most like commercial song ever written or uh, anything like that. And I wrote it long before my dad passed away. And it wasn't part of it, you know, there were parts of it, most parts of it were real except for the fact that he was still alive. And uh, when he actually did pass away, that, that became the time to sing that song. I wrote that song in 2005. And then it meant something different to me. To me, it was just a song, you know, that I came off of an idea of a real, you know, I went home to, to eat a meal uh, at a holiday with my parents, and my dad was a real religious man. He said grace at every meal, and this one particular time he didn't, and it struck me, you know. I don't know, he was probably tired <laughs> or hungry, really hungry, you know, and, and we just didn't. And it, he said it a lot of times since, and that was the only time that that ever happened, but it, the phrase daddy didn't print anymore stuck in my head, and uh, I went home and back to Nashville and, and kind of wrote that song.